what is up everybody josh here again and today we have a new valheim ashlands video for you today we're going to be going over the three brand new armor sets that was added into the ashlands update as well as the two new shields and two new capes that were added as well let's get into it shall we so we're going to go over the armor set how to craft it and then kind of you know demonstrate what it does and of course the cloaks and the shields as well first armor set we're going to talk about is the flametal armor set and this is what it looks like right here and this is what the back side of it looks like very nice looking armor very fire resistant looks like it's got little bones all around it and of course, the full metal armor set is crafted in the Black Forge. The full metal helmet will cost you 16 full metal, three Ask Vin Hod, two Charred Bone, and four Refine Eater. Refine Eater, of course, is, you know, Refine Eater. You gotta get Eater and refine it. With an Eater refinery, basically, you put sap in and get Eater out the top. We have a little factory here made on marble, which doesn't get destroyed whenever it bounces around. We also need a level three bench or station to craft it and repair it. We also have the flametal breastplate and it does give a decent amount of armor. It also reduces your movement speed by five, but gives you heat resistance with plus 20% heat resistance, which is awesome. It does require a level three bench and 20 flametal, three asks Vin Hyde, five charred bone, and one Morgan heart. For you to craft it. The Greaves will run you 20 Flametal, 3 Askfin Hods, and 5 Charred Bone to craft as well. And it also gives 38 armor and reduces your movement speed by 5%, but gives another 20% heat resistance. Then we got some Askfins. We're going to let them kind of beat on this a little bit. And you can see we do, they do very little damage. Uh oh. We are actually in. Uh, bad situation here. Looks like we got two Valkyries on this. But we're actually doing not too bad. Got an Ask Van and some Vultures here. We're just gonna let them kind of be on us for a little bit. Show you how much. It don't look like very much damage, to be honest with you. Put this armor on, and you seem quite, quite well protected. So next up we have the clothes of ask and we're going to show you how to craft those the clothes of ask the breastplate of ask is crafted in the black forge you do have to have a level three black forge to do this you need 15 linen thread four locks pelt and 10 asks been hot and linen thread of course is from spinning wheels you just gotta put flax into a spinning wheel and of course locks pelts just from killing loxes and ask fins are from killing ask fins trousers require the same amount and it is 15 4 and 10 so basically for both of those 15 4 and 10 for both of those and then you have the helmet as well which is the hood of ask and it is the same level 3 and requires exact same mounts so with the armor set we have a three set bonus which is quite interesting we need to talk about and that's asks endurance lighter armor lets you move more freely every move requiring less energy so you actually have 10% less stamina usage when you run. You have 10% stamina usage reduction when jumping and also when attacking negative 20% stamina usage. You also get plus 10% pierce. So this is a really great archers set and also just a great set to kind of get away from stuff. Also, if you combine this with the Askvin cloak, it is super OP. Get a little Askvin here. We're going to kind of range them around a little bit. Yeah, you get quite a bit of stamina. You, you don't use as much stamina. You don't use as much attack, and you get a little bit extra pierce. So it's pretty good for a bow build, for sure. And also, if you're just kind of wanting to run and not deal with stuff in the Ashlands, you can also use this and the Aspen Cloak. And we'll show you the Aspen Cloak now. The Aspen Cloak is crafted in a level 2 Galder table, and it does require 6 Aspen Hide and 2 Morgan Snooze for you to craft. Of course, you've got to kill Morgans for that. You'll notice it's kind of resistant to frost, so it's probably going to be a good cloak for the next biome that we go to after the Ashlands. It does have a decent durability, but it does have this ability right here, which is Wind Run, and it runs faster when running with the wind, lets the wind guide you to victory. We do have 
have a video on this, but we're going to show you this briefly. When you're looking up, you can sometimes see little streaks in the air, and that is the direction that the wind is blowing. So when you have this cloak on and you're running in the direction of the wind, you will run faster. And quite a bit faster, too. And we also have the other armor on as well. This is how fast you can kind of traverse the Ashlands. This is going against the wind. Still quite fast, actually. We go in this direction. You can see we're going super fast. Just like Speedy Gonzalez here. You definitely run faster with the wind. So yeah, absolutely great armor combination with the new cloak. You could just sit there and just run past everything. You know, you don't have to deal with anything. Who's got time for that? And next up, we have the Ashen Cape, which is made in the Black Forge. You have to have a level three Black Forge to make it. And it requires six Askman Hide, two Morgan Sinews, and five Flametal. And this is a really nice looking cape. This is kind of what it looks like. We'll show you kind of in the daylight. It also gives you 12 armor. It also gives you resistance to frost as well. The attack stamina usage is negative 10%, and the block stamina usage is negative 20% whenever you have this equipped as well. So attacking and blocking will use less stamina which is really nice and this is what the ashen cloak looks like on my person here nice looking little cloak covers your whole back looks like the bow may be sticking through it though a little bit and we'll also go over the two flametal shields before we go over the final armor the flametal shields are crafted in the black forge level three and they both require ashwood flametal and hide you need for the basic one 10 ashwood eight flametal and two askman hod and for the tower shield you need 15 ashwood 10 flametal and five askman hod the basic shield does have 200 durability and has a 114 block armor and 50 block force with 1.5 times parry bonus and has a negative five reduction in movement speed of course you could choose whatever style you want as well hitting style full metal tower shield is the same durability but with 140 block armor 150 block force and negative 10 percent movement speed we've crafted our full metal shields in blue and this is what the full metal shield looks like the regular one not the tower shield of course you can go into combat with it you can block with it block arrows all that good stuff Block serious mobs. These are kind of weak. And of course, you can parry block archers and stun them like that, too. You can also block other attacks. Like this. And do a parry. And do regular blocks as well. It's got a basic tower shield here, and this is the Flametal Tower Shield. Go test it out. Of course, you can block with the tower shield, and it has some pretty good block and it'll take quite a bit of block, but it actually will not parry or stun enemies. See, we weren't able to actually parry yet. We are doing it right before, but it's... Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's actually parrying. Which is, I think, normal for tower shields, but you can stop a lot more with the tower shield. We haven't really even lost that much HP, to be honest with you. Lost a little bit, but... And finally, we have the Embla armor set. Here are the trousers of Embla. You do need a level 2. You do need 20 linen thread, 20 refine eater, and 10 askvin hide to craft it. The robes do require 20 linen thread, 20 E-tier, 10 Aspen hide and 5 full metal. And the hood only requires 16 linen thread, 15 refined eater, and 2 Aspen hides. And of course, this is the new mage armor. 
And we're going to go over what the armor set does. So the armor set gives you E-tier regen. The helm gives you plus 30% E-tier regen and gives you about 19 armor, actually. The robes will give you plus 50% E-tier regen and minus 2% movement speed with 19 armor. And the trousers of Embla, they will give you negative 2% movement speed plus 50% tier regeneration which gives us a total of 130 right now and 19 armor so that is the new armor set trust me you're gonna want this armor set it actually is quite fun to have magic in ashlands we have a guide on all of our new weapons that we're using right here but we're just showing you that the new tier gear will give you the ability to use of course magic and your tier will regenerate quite quickly and you can just sit here and spawn stuff And use shotguns like this. And of course, how can we forget releasing chaos? Your magical chaos. <laughs> And that's it. That's the three brand new armor sets, two new shields, and two new capes that they added into the Ashlands update. Don't forget, if you like what you see, to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Subscribing will give you Ashlands videos just like this one and gods. We also stream as well. And maybe check out one of the videos coming up on your screen now. And hopefully, we'll see you next time. Peace.